Hey everybody, how's it going? This is a video of how to add voiceover narration to a Google Slides presentation. I'm Benjamin Day, creator of SlideSpeaker, and uh, yeah, let's jump into the demo. Okay, so here we are in Google Slides, and I've got a presentation already created. Click that slide deck to open it up, and you can see that it's got a handful of slides already in here. And I can go through them and view what they look like and edit them if I need to. Typical stuff that you do with a Google Slides presentation. Now let's say that I want to turn this presentation into a video. Basically, create a video of someone presenting this presentation, going slide by slide and bullet by bullet, like you do in a customer engagement, a promotional video on your website, or at a conference. That's what we'll use SlideSpeaker for. The first step will be to export this presentation as a PPTX file. That export option is located under the file menu. So we'll come up here to the file menu, click on it, then go to the download menu. And finally in the download menu, there's an option to export this Google Slides presentation as a Microsoft PowerPoint PPTX file. Choose that option from the download menu and the file gets downloaded for you. If you're using the Chrome browser, you'll see a notification up here saying that the file has been downloaded. Generally speaking, it's a good bet that this file went into your downloads folder. Now that we have that PPTX file, we can upload it to SlideSpeaker. I've got SlideSpeaker open in a tab already. The URL is slidespeaker.ai. The first thing to do is to log in. Come down here and click the login button. Now you've got some options here. My guess is that since you're watching a video about Google Slides, you probably already have a Gmail account. In which case, you'll probably want to use your Gmail account. But you also have the option to create a user account with SlideSpeaker. Use a Microsoft account or a GitHub account. And in case you're wondering, it doesn't matter which account type you use. The functionality is all the same. I'm going to use my SlideSpeaker account, and we now see the SlideSpeaker homepage. So down here we've got this project list button, so let's go ahead and click that, and that'll take us into our list of projects. And here we are on our list of projects. Since we have a new presentation that we'd like to use, we'll click on the Create New button. Click Create New, and now we're on the new project screen. I'll give the project a name. Let's call it Google Slides Demo. You can also give this project a description if you want, but that's not required. And then finally, you'll choose the PPTX presentation file that you want to upload. Click on the Choose File button, and then I know that I downloaded that PPTX to my download folder, so I'll navigate over to there. And there's the PPTX file. Select the file, and then on Mac, click the Open button. If you're on Windows, it's a similar process. So you locate your file, you select it, and then click the Open button. We can now see that the file has been chosen and we're ready to create this project and upload the file. Come over here to the Save button. Click the button. The file gets uploaded. The project is created, and you should now see the Project Settings page. OK, so there are a bunch of things we can do on this page, including selecting or changing the virtual voice actor, or even adding custom word pronunciations. But in the interest of moving this demo along and getting to the good stuff, basically the audio and video editing flow, I'm going to do a little video editing magic here in this demo, fade out, populate the project with some test data, and then fade back into the project list. All right, here we go. OK, here we are on the project list, and this is, well, a list of projects that you have in SlideSpeaker. And right up here at the top, Google Slides demo, this is the one that we just created and I've populated with test data. Anyway, to view and edit the project, just click on it. So we'll do that now. Come up to the Google Slides Demo project and click on it. OK, here's our project. You can see the pictures of each slide and project. Just to prove it to you, I'll scroll down and all our slides are there. Let's take a look at the details of slide number one. To do that, just click your mouse or tap anywhere in the slide number one box. And that will take you to the details for slide number one. This is the title slide for the presentation. On the left side, we see the image of the slide. On the right side, we've got the text that SlideSpeaker is going to say in the video for this slide. If you want to edit this text, all you need to do is click into it, make your changes, and then click away from that box. Your changes are saved automatically. Along the bottom, there's an audio preview. Hi, this is a demo of how to add voiceover to a Google Slides presentation and create a video. We'll do this using SlideSpeaker.ai. 
So that's the audio preview. Along the top of the screen, you have buttons for viewing the video for this slide. I'll come up here to the View Video button, and that opens up a preview of the video for this slide. Let's skip watching this video for now. I'll just come over here and click the Close button. Let's go take a look at a more complex slide, slide number three. You can get there either by clicking the next button, or you can get there by going back to the project's slide list. To get back to the slide list, just click on the project name in the menu bar up here. I'll click on that link and it'll take us back to the slide list. And we're back on the slide list. Let's scroll down and take a look at slide number three. Click on this slide to bring up the details. And here we are on slide three. I mentioned that this is a more complex slide. And what makes it more complex is that it's animated. Instead of being just one static picture, it's got four different moments in the slide. I call these moments slide items. And Slide Speaker lets you specify the voiceover text for each item. Slide item one is what this slide looks like when we first show the slide. And on the right side, we've got the text, this is an animated slide. Let's scroll down to slide item two. At this moment in the slide, the presentation is displaying text that says, create videos from PowerPoint presentations. And the voiceover text will say, slide speaker lets you add the voiceover that you'd like to see. Scrolling down to slide item three and slide item four, you can see what the presentation screen looks like at that moment and you can supply the voiceover text for that moment. And then finally scroll down to slide item four, and you can see that I've already supplied voiceover text for it. Okay, let's scroll up to the top and view the video for this animated slide. Let's click on the view video button to bring up the video preview. We've got the video preview and I'm gonna click play to take a look at this video. This is an animated slide. Slide speaker lets you add the voiceover that you'd like to see. For each bullet in your slide as it appears, just type in the text and SlideSpeaker creates AI-generated voiceover audio with the virtual voice actor of your choice. After that, you generate a video. Okay, I'll click close to make the preview disappear. So let's say that after checking out that video preview that I'm not wild about the voiceover. If I want to change it, I can just, well, change it. I'll add a little more text. Each animated bullet in the slide gets its own voice over text. Click away from the editor box to save the change. Let's scroll down to slide item three and change the text here too. Make that text change, and I'll make a change to the text for item four too. Scroll back up to the top, and we've got a message saying that SlideSpeaker is running some background jobs. In this case, it's updating the audio. These messages, you don't have to do anything with them. They're just there to keep you up to date on what's going on they'll disappear on their own as they complete. That job completed. Now let's check out the slide video after we've made those changes. SlideSpeaker tries to keep everything up to date for you, but if you're feeling impatient, you can just make it happen. In this case, I'm gonna refresh the video by clicking on the Update Video button. We get the notification that SlideSpeaker is updating the video. We need to wait until this is done before we can click the View Video button. The video update job completes. Click on View Video to bring up the preview. I'll click on Play. This is an animated slide. Each animated bullet in the slide gets its own voiceover text. SlideSpeaker lets you add the voiceover that you'd like to see. Just add the text for each bullet in your slide as it appears. And SlideSpeaker creates AI-generated voiceover audio with the virtual voice actor of your choice. After that, you generate a video. And that's the slide video preview. What about the video for the whole project? Well, let's go back to the project page and check that out. Click on the Google Slides Demo project link, and that takes us back to the project slide list. Just like on the slide editor page, there are two buttons, Update Video and View Video. These buttons are for the project video. The project video is the combined video of all the slide videos. Since we just made changes, I'm gonna refresh the project video. Click on that Update Video button. We'll get a notification that the update job has been requested, and then we see the project video job running. Depending on the size and complexity of your project, this job could take a minute or so to complete. In this case, it's only taking about 10 seconds. I'll click on the View Video button to bring up the project video preview, and then I'll click Play. Hi, this is a demo of how to add voiceover to a Google Slides presentation and create a video. 
We'll do this using slidespeaker.ai. Slidespeaker is an online service that lets you create videos with professional quality voiceover from your existing PowerPoint or Google Slides presentations. This is an animated slide. Each animated bullet in the slide gets its own voiceover text. Slidespeaker lets you add the voiceover that you'd like to see. Just add the text for each bullet in your slide as it appears. And Slidespeaker creates AI-generated voiceover audio with the virtual voice actor of your choice. After that, you generate a video. Now that I've watched some of that video and listened to the audio, I'm not sure that I 100% love that voice actor. You can change the virtual voice actor by going to Project Settings. I'll click the Settings button, and here we are on the Project Settings page. Right now, the voice actor is set to use Alice. Let's click the Change Voice button. There are lots of voices to choose from. Male, female, different accents, different ages, different options for languages. You can either scroll through and find the voice you want, or you can filter by keyword or filter by language. I'm just going to scroll down a little. Each voice actor has an audio clip, so you can quickly get a feel for what they sound like. Let's take a listen to Brian. The thing always happens that you really believe in, and the belief in a thing makes it happen. This sounds pretty good. Click on the Select button. That gives us a warning saying that we're changing the voice for our project. I'll click on the Save button to confirm that choice, then scroll up to the top. And then I'll click on the Go to Project button to take us back to the Project Slide List page. SlideSpeaker is working on getting the audio regenerated. I'm speeding this up a bit, but it's taking about 15 seconds to regenerate the audio clips. I'll click the Update Video button. That'll regenerate all the slide videos with the new voiceover actor's audio, and then update the project video. Once again, I'm speeding this up. This operation took about 60 seconds to complete. Now it's done, and we can view the updated video. Click View Video to bring up the preview. Hi, this is a demo of how to add voiceover to a Google Slides presentation and create a video. We'll do this using slidespeaker.ai. SlideSpeaker is an online service that lets you create videos with professional quality voiceover from your existing PowerPoint or Google Slides presentations. This is an animated slide. Each animated bullet in the slide gets its own voice over text. SlideSpeaker lets you add the voiceover that you'd like to see. Just add the text for each bullet in your slide as it appears. And SlideSpeaker creates AI-generated voiceover audio with the virtual voice actor of your choice. After that, you generate a video. And that's our video with the updated virtual voice actor. If you're happy with it, you can just click the download button right here. The downloaded video is just a regular old MP4 video file. And once you've got it, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Upload it to YouTube, email it to customers, show it at your kid's birthday party, whatever you need. Anyway, I'll close out of this preview window and put us back on the project slide list page. And that's our demo of adding voiceover narration to a Google Slides presentation using SlideSpeaker. I hope you found this interesting and helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please drop us a line at info at Thanks very much for watching, and please give SlideSpeaker a try. See you later.